javelins, freelancers, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another update from Anthem Universe. I am one of your hosts, Ogaz, and we are talking first play preparations. What do you do for your first run through? Where do you go? Who do you see? Who do you speak to? What actions do you engage in? Well, I've developed a list, I think, based on our experiences, and I think on conversations from both Bioware and elsewhere in the community. A total of 12 things, a dozen pieces of awesome information that hopefully you will find awesomely helpful. Number one, please try to avoid spoiling the story for anyone. Now, if you care about story, be careful. What can I say? People are going to be streaming and people are going to be creating content, including us. I'm sorry. <laughs> we try to avoid spoilers, I know, but I mean, at the end of the day, the bulk of the community will be playing Anthem shortly and it's hard not to be part of that hype. Streamers, content creators, etc., they're going to be publishing. Go dark if you must, but <laughs> just know there's going to be spoilers. I don't know what to say. Try to avoid storyline content. We'll post. If we've got storyline content we're posting, we will. Things that we post on Twitter, for example, we often try to just do little snippets or little bits or little cuts. So in short, if you want to go dark, go dark. But bear in mind, it's very hard. <laughs> we'll do our best. Number two, don't be a jerk. Be a joy. That's right. Be nice. Don't be an elitist. If you want to be, be a Sherpa, right? Guide people, help people. But, you know, if you don't want to be a Sherpa, you don't have to be a hero. There are people out there that have two or three kids. You know what? They sit down, they have two hours to play at night, and they just don't have the time to sit there and invest in helping everyone else. And we get that, all right? You don't, so you don't have to be a Sherpa. You don't have to be ultra nice guy, but don't be a jerk. You know, don't call out for someone as being a scrub because they wipe, right? Try and understand what went wrong. Talk to them. Go! If you can, <laughs> um, ask them. God, we need that text chat now, don't we? Uh, ask them what's happening. Ask them about their gear. Maybe help them with their gear because you know, as we know, the gear can make and complement a build significantly. Even low level javelins can do very, very well once they are relatively well geared. So, again, don't be a jerk, be a joy. Number three, in between missions, talk to the people in Tarsus. That's right, they have stories to tell. And according to Mike Gamble, as he says, I'm proud of the awesome characters the team have written. Many of them are hilarious as F and offer great insight into the world. So what can you say? We've experienced some of those conversations. There's many to be had out in the world, I should add as well. So yes, do jump back to Tarsus. Don't rush through that element. Use it as your hub. If any of you did it back in the days of Mass Effect, Effect. I used to run around the Citadel every time. Some of you might remember that. After a mission, I'd run back to the Citadel and I'd run around every character and click A-A-A-A-A, trying to see if there's any more dialogue conversations or anything more. Keep that passion. It's Bioware. They're good at this stuff. All right. Number four, do not spend all your coin at the beginning. Spend a few hours. Try out your javelins. The customization system is very deep. In other words, don't blow it all in five minutes. Remember, you can change up your javelin choice mid or end game. This, in my opinion, has probably been one of the things that's really attracted me to Anthem from the beginning. The knowledge that I don't have to grind all hell just to get ready for another character. The grind will still be there, of course, for those min-maxers out there. But, as I say, don't spend everything at once. Have a look at your options, open up your javelins, and then start to work out where to allocate your coin. There'll be much more coin to earn, make no mistake, in the rest of the game. All right, number five, use the Alliance system. Yes, you will get good coin. It includes people on your friends list and people that you are ally with. It benefits people who play rarely. It benefits people who play a lot. As I said in our Launch Bay video, if you want to take a look at that, it's in the description. Have a look there, go there, talk to people, meet people, look at your gear, check it out. You've got eight different forges that you can play with all your material. You can access information about your alliance and you can see the coin that you actually gain from being a part of your alliance. Remember, people that play a lot will contribute more as on a scale basis. But if you're someone who doesn't play as much because you don't have the time, you can still leverage some of the coins that all the people are doing as a collective. It's an awesome Stronger Together philosophy and Bioware, I hope, from what I've seen, will nail this very, very well. Number six, play on hard if you're keen. Play on easy and normal if you're here for the story. I mean, everyone should know that, you get that. If you're just here to come in for the campaign, you know, play your single player Bioware story, you're still gonna get elements of that, you're still gonna get that, do it on easy normal, make your life easy. Of course, if you're there for the loot and the long tail and the end game and all those things, well, you know where I'm going. Go hard or go home. Don't even bother going easy or normal because you want a challenging conversation. Remember, you will get hurt a lot. 
please remember this. Our first Stronghold run through was back in October 2018. We had three Javelins, an Interceptor, a Storm, and a Colossus. It was on hard, and after playing for a day through free play and missions and everything else on normal and hard, we attempted the hard Stronghold. We wiped on the first scene against one Valkyrie. Watch for Valkyries. Uh, remember, Valkyries are the storm equivalent, the Dominion's storm, if you will. They will rain all hell on you if you do not keep the cover and if you do not work together and if you do not combo. Of course, I'm talking about hard strongholds. They're meant to be a challenge and they will be. Let's not talk about Grandmaster 1, 2, and 3, shall we? <laughs> Let's get to that. But they will be difficult, no doubt. But enjoy the hard strongholds. They will push you to your limit in the early game. And we'll look forward to seeing and hearing more about that from you all down the track. Number seven, check out the dailies and weeklies. Now, jump in. You can check those in the launch bay or inside Tarsus. The daily and weekly challenges will give you good coin for your investment, so to speak. They're worth doing, and they'll give you some stuff. They'll give you some money to spend on your javelin, of course, in particular, relating to personalization, cosmetics, etc. Number eight, use quick play. Reinforce other freelancers. Meet new people and use quick play. Or jump in the Discord. Ah, jump in the discord.anthemuniverse.com. There's my plug. Um, but of course, as I say, it's about meeting people. Remember, the philosophy of this game for the beginning has always been my story, our world, and the most recent tagline, Stronger Together. Leverage that philosophy because that's what Bioware's going for here, and that's what will see you success. Number nine, listen to dialogue. Turn up the dialogue volume in game. Don't skip it. Why? There's a lot of exposition that you will miss in your expeditions. Oh, how's that? Don't miss the exposition in your expeditions. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, there are some genuinely hilarious moments from the very first kill that you make right up to the end game. And if you repeat strongholds, you will find that dialogue actually gets scaled back to avoid repetition for players. Great function, right? But if you miss it the first round, you might not hear it on some of your future playthroughs. Unless, of course, you start with a new pilot. But at the end of the day, as I say, it's worth listening to. Turn up your headset volume, turn up dialogue, and listen to the conversations out there. Remember, it's a Bioware game. That life is still out there. It's not just in Tarsus. It's also with Owen, Halleck, and Faye, and of course, the people out in the world that you meet. Number 10, if you want to crit path, then crit path. But you don't have to. Split your time across activities in the early game. Maybe unlock two javelins. You know, check out Tarsus. Run some free play. Run a stronghold on normal or hard if you game. There's a lot to see in Anthem. Remember, as I keep saying, I'm beating this drum, but it's Bioware, right? They, they do this stuff well. They create worlds. This is what they do for a living. They create stories. They create worlds. Gameplay is the additional beauty of it. So up to you what you do with that, as I say, but don't feel you have to rush through to the story. Number 11, kill the grab it, kill the grab it, kill the grab it. Sorry, uh, kill the grab it. That's all I'll say. Number 12, in short, take your time. You've probably got the idea from this video to this point, but there is a tendency, thanks to the modern looter shooter, such as Division and Destiny, along with the streamer culture, to get to max level immediately. I don't know what that is, but in your pursuit of numbers, don't forget the joy of Bioware gameplay. And I'll tell you why. I was there from day one with The Division, like many of you may have been. My crew and I hit level six to seven within the first day. I was then away for work for two days. When I came back, my crew were at level 26 of 30. They then proceeded to drag my slow, squishy ass through to endgame. It was horrible. <laughs> we skipped dialogue, cutscenes, and what limited exposition that that game actually had. Don't be me. There's time. Learn the control mechanisms. Flight and swimming is a little tricky at first. Give it some time. Um, look at your control mechanism. Are you happy with controller or do you prefer keyboard? I'm a massive keyboard and mouse player, but I have to admit, the mechanic for flight feels so good for me on the controller. I am one of two minds with that one. I think I'm going to go controller, but we'll wait and see. Again, Look at those mechanics, look at your controls, time your routines to keep near water so you don't overheat. It's actually a game of itself, you know, actually timing your gameplay and flight so that you are near water and so that your engines don't overheat is something beautiful. It's fun. It's actually a really fun mechanic. At first, it's a nuisance because you just keep forgetting to cool down, go under a waterfall, skim the water. But after a while, it actually becomes a, like a routine mechanic and it's actually a really nice flow in terms of the gameplay. Of course, as you level up, that'll get longer anyway and it'll be less of a bother to you if it is. 
There's single player, there's rewarding dailies and weeklies, there's matchmaking, and of course the alliance system to help you with that extra coin. So take your time. Guys, look, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Good luck with everything you do, whether you're joining on the 14th and whether you're coming in on the 22nd. I really wish I didn't have to say that. I know some of you are frustrated and that's just the challenge of the Origin Access system and the relationships, of course, that go well beyond Bioware's design. So please don't hate on Bioware for that. That's part of the conversation. We're going to see you in there regardless and I can't wait to play alongside all of you along with Binary and, of course, everyone in the team and the mod team at Anthem Universe. Please jump into the Twitter to check us out, which is at Anthem Universe. Of course, jump in the Discord, be part of the community, discord.anthemuniverse.com. And check us out on Twitch. We'll be live streaming from day one and, of course, all the way through with various teams and players and, of course, with you guys enjoying the conversation as well. We're going to leave it there, Javelins. I am Gaz for Anthem Universe. A very, very exciting weeks and months ahead of us, guys. It has been a long time, a year and a half we've been doing this. June 11 was when we started this journey at Announce, and it has been a hell of a ride, and I can't wait to keep going. I am Elgaz for Anthem Universe, and Javelins, freelancers, we will see you next over the wall.